Okay, now, I, now I'm going to show you how to set up your dial board gauge to exact measurement. I've already set my micrometer to exact reading of 3.444 inch. What you do is you take your dial board gauge and set it between, set it in the micrometer. And then you turn the face until it's zeroed out and you lock it down. I've already set mine and now we're going to go over to the engine block and measure our cylinders. Generally you want to measure this direction and this direction, top, middle, and bottom of the cylinder where the rings ride. That's where most of the wear is going to occur. The majority of the wear from the rings is going to happen in the upper portion of your cylinder. I'll set my micrometer in down about a quarter of an inch. I'll show you here and I'll just rock it back and forth until the needle stops one direction and then it goes back the other way. So So I have two thousandths of an inch max. So add two thousandths of an inch to three point four 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 and you'll get three point four four six thousandths in one direction. So I'll measure top again, quarter of an inch down. See this way I'll have to subtract six ten thousandths of an inch. So that leaves me three point four four four. This side will be subtraction, and this side will be add. So, finish measuring. You want to take your measurements twice to be accurate. So I have an out of round cylinder by one thousandths of an inch. Out of round is taking your measurement here and here and comparing both measurements that will give you out of round. My spec says I can't have a cylinder out of round than more than fifteen hundredths of an inch. If 15 ten thousandths of an inch, I'm sorry. So I am out of spec just by a hair line. Now I'm going to measure the bottom of the cylinder. Just about the line where the rings stop on the downward bottom dead center. I'm out of round by one thousandths of an inch, and now I'm going to measure taper, which is take your measurement at the top and compare it to the measure at the bottom of the cylinder where the rings stop, the bottom dead center.
I have a taper of six ten thousandths of an inch. And this side. Now I will measure the other side. of a difference of two ten thousandths of an inch. And that's how you measure each cylinder. To give you out of round taper so you know if you have to bore and hone it or if you can just hone it and it'll be fine. With this particular, since I have an aluminum cylinder head, these measurements may change just a bit with when the head's torqued down. And that's when this particular engine block will have to get torque plagued to get honed after it was it's being worn. I have a twenty thousand dollar piston to go in these. Now I'll show you how to measure deck flatness. 